Is this thing on? Let's see, y'all. Let's see. Let me see. Can I get this thing on right here? All right, y'all. So today I'm making um, a backwoods meatloaf. And I'm making uh, a sauteed corn and red garlic mashed potatoes. Step one, you're going to need a big pan that's deep. And you need it deep because it's supposed to uh, uh, catch all your grease and, and everything else. So that way you can drain it off and it won't be in your food. So let me go get my pan. Just yes, a standard old a Pyrex pan. A kind of deep. A standard pack of your a ground chuck, 80-20. I use 80-20 because of the fat content. A 20% of fat means more flavor, and it'll make everybody happy. Even though it's bad for your health, hey, I gotta die of something. So open this bad boy up. Add your ground beef in there. It's gonna be fine. You wanna flatten it out just a little bit, cause now you're gonna add all of your ingredients. Let me get this out the way. And by the way, I got this right here on for the roasted, um, excuse me, the red mashed potatoes. So I want to get my, add the water up to ball because I don't want y'all to be here all night waiting on my black behind. So from here, I'm going to add one and one half a tablespoon of Creole seasoning. Or as I call it, I tone it saturated, but I just like to call it Creole seasoning. Just add it everywhere. It ain't gonna hurt it because all of it, it gotta mix in there after you get it anyway. And here you're gonna add. Two large eggs. One in, and one half cup of yellow onions. <coughs> Excuse me. And spread them out evenly. It, it don't matter on the size of your onions. I like my onions to be a little bit big. I mean, it gives you a whole lot more flavor into it. third cup of bell pepper a teaspoon of minced garlic <laughs> well I call it a teaspoon but uh you know I like garlic After you get all of these ingredients in here together, you're gonna go in here and mix it together. And now with no spoon, with no fork, with your bad hands. And just go through there and knead it all in there, real good together, like so. It's, it's gonna be a little messy, but it'll be well worth it in the end. Squeeze it in now, real good. And make sure everybody like get to meet everybody and everybody okay ain't no beefing going on in the beef so we just gonna do this right here so after we get all that done mixing that together this is um one of the easiest things i can make for a family of four at two pounds a ground beef can feed a lot of people it, it depends on your sizes and your, uh, and your serving sizes actually because I, I know me personally I don't eat a lot uh, but I know uh, some people that can eat a whole a meatloaf on their own so after all right there is incorporated right together what you're going to go do is, is is get you half a spool of crackers it can be a saltine crackers a rich crackers anything that's going to hold it all in there right together so what I did was I got a, a half a rung of rich crackers and, and I, I crushed them so it'll turn out to be like this right here. A 
real fine and real pliable. So you just go in here and add this right here. And what we're gonna do now is mix again. I'm making a mess, but hey, I gotta clean it up, so it'll be all right. Like I said, y'all, this is a real easy dish to make for your family on a Monday night, especially, because I know how it is. On the Monday nights after work, you just wanted to come home and go to sleep. But I'm like, man, I gotta feed myself. So I like to cook instead of going out to eat. So keep mixing it in now. And now that that's all incorporated in now, of course we need to go wash our hands again. And now we're gonna add the other ingredients. At this point right now, you have everything in there mixed together. You have your onion, you have your garlic, you have your your Creole seasoning, and you got your bread, or in my case, cracker crumbs. So all we need to go do now is if we need to go add the sauce to it. And how I like to do mine is I like to go and get a can of tomato sauce, just ordinary, regular like, tomato sauce. And at Walmart, they do carry the other stuff called um, a meatloaf sauce, but I don't like it because it's a little too sweet and it ain't it ain't at the flavor that I want it to be. So. Oh, of course I got one already open, so I'm just gonna add that one. Again, excuse me, half a can of tomato sauce. And get all that up out of there. One third cup of barbecue sauce. Any kind of your flavor, you can use Heinz, whatever, Sweet Baby Ray's, whatever you want to put in there, just add it in now. One fourth cup of brown sugar. Of course, mine a little bit old because it's been in there for a while, but hey, let's get it like so and just, and just mix it up. <laughs> Half of a, a teaspoon of lemon pepper. And my favorite, one whole teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Which to me, it ain't hot, but to other people, it's hot. Now, this might make you sneeze a little bit, so <laughs> just stand clear of it. So again, we gonna mix. If you got a, a, a weak stomach or anything, this ain't the meal for you to cook because it will have you squeamish just a bit. But I like to use it because it's good. And I, and I know the end result, of course. Get all this in there. Mix it all in there together. Of course, I can't sit here all night I'm mixing this stuff up together. The object is to I teach you guys how to make a quick, easy meal that's affordable for a family of four. And who would ever thought I knew how to cook? I don't know. But I do. It's something I was blessed with. So from here, you pretty much got your meatloaf all in there together. What I like to do is, I like to use one pan because I hate to wash dishes. So we're just going to use the same pan and form it up like a loaf of bread. And make sure that you keep it smooth on the top. Because if it's smooth on the top, it won't crack. If you got like a, a onion or something like I poking out of it, it'd be more susceptible to cracking. So that's something that we don't want to do. <laughs> so.
so all formed up, here's your meatloaf. Wash your hands again. So now we're gonna go and preheat out of them to 350. That's gonna be a little while, so, so we can get that out the way. Set you to the side, old boy. Since my water's boiling, we know what time it is. It's time to make the mashed potatoes. With the red potatoes, it's, it's put in your crawfish or your crab ball or what have you. I just like these right here because they're more uh, southern in, in a sense, more at Louisiana. So, get these right here. Let me get a parent knife. I like to always cut mine in half because when you go and cut them in half, it makes them cook a lot faster than if they were whole. I know a lot of you probably be saying, man, that's, that's common sense, but a whole lot of people don't got common sense. Or excuse me, half. So we're gonna sit here and boil these until they're tender, which is about 30 minutes. But of course, we don't have 30 minutes to spend tonight. So we're just gonna go and put these in there and boil them until tender. And what I always I do with this right here is add me a, a pinch of salt in there so that the potatoes will not stick to the bottom of your, um, of your pot. So let's go ahead on and add this right here now. That should take care of that. And then I'm going to give them a stir just in the slow stir. Like so. After they get the ball in, we'll be all set to go. So, right now, we're gonna sit here and prepare our corn. And what we have here is basically a five years of the corn that you go find at your, at your grocery store, at Walmart, or at anywhere. And we're just gonna go take the ears off of it and get the hair off of it too as much as you can but I like a little bit on mine I can't even lie on it uh, and cut the ends off of it to make it look a little bit more uniform thing on the wrong one and put that on now and what I like to do from here is I like to get a half stick of butter and put it in there to melt it so after I put the corn in there it will not stick to the bottom of your pan go in my freezer let's see what we got here why Well, I thought I had some half sticks in there, but apparently I don't. So, if you don't have a half stick, just take a whole one and cut it in half. Of course, mine's frozen. And put that in there and let that cook. While that's cooking, I can do a little bit of cleaning up. That have made a big mess over here. And also, put your meatloaf in the oven at this time. See, it's a little messy, but it's okay. Cause why, it's gonna cook anyway. Put this on in the oven. 
Questo è questo. Damn, I slammed that, didn't I? Get all, this, all your mess out there. Ugh, throw it in the trash. So, let this sit here and melt all day long. But in the meantime, it can be sitting here and cutting out corn. That's so what I'm going to do here. But the corn is, hold it like so, and cut it down, straight down, all the way around. It's a lot better in your canned corn, and it's a lot cheaper, too. Because at the canned corn, they pick it out of season or in season, and they freeze it, and they sell it to you a year later. Ain't no nutrients in that. Ain't nothing in that but just flat-out cloned corn. So, I bought these little five years of organic corn. And you can get this at your farmer's market or anywhere, actually, at, at the good Whole Foods. So, let me grab my cutting board. I wish I could have some music on right now, but I know how Facebook get on. They say I'm, I'm copyright in infringing so his butter's almost done so how I'm gonna do this right here is we're gonna go down with this right here like so mm -mm. it's like it's way too big old-fashioned style because I'm country like so. Go all the way around it. Hopefully y'all can see this right here. And it, it may get a little messy, y'all, but it'll be alright. I mean hell. You gotta clean up anyway. So, I know a whole lot of y'all ask me, why did I start like doing this right here? I mean, it was always like something I was always good at. And I've always, I wanted to cook for people. As you can hear, this is a little hot, so we're going to cool it down just a little bit. So we don't burn our corn up. What's hot in here? Shit. Get you another one. Break it in half. Slice down. And this is actually some good corn, actually, y'all. I had some earlier. They called me crazy, but as kids, we go out in my grandfather's in his garden. And pick the corn and eat it. <laughs> yeah, you should do that. But as we got older and we realized all the our nutritional benefits to eating it as a raw, it made sense and I didn't feel like so stupid. So that's probably why we never get nothing. I major in life like the flu or anything of that nature right there. So, cut this corn all the way down. We should have about enough now. Oh man. The maize is going to kill me. I got all this corn everywhere. So I'm gonna go add this back on the fire. Add you, what I got here, a cup of onions. Well no, we're gonna add a half cup of onions. I don't have a whole lot of a whole lot of corn. That's about enough. I like all that smoking mama say. <laughs> if it ain't enough, make it enough. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in now. 
Put all your corn in there. This is me. Yes. Add you now a pinch of salt. I like to use a spatula. Also, y'all, um, after this right here, I will upload this video with instructions and with ingredients to my um, my YouTube page. It's called Man in an Apron. M A N I N A N. A P R O N, man in an apron. So let's get this corn good and brown. Cut my fire back up just a little bit because I know that y'all don't got all night. So, in other words, I need to hurry up. And we're going to let this right here cook for about 10 minutes. So now, I'm back to my potatoes. I'm gonna get your little knife and stick in there. And they're almost done. So what I'm gonna do now is continue with this corn and get this about another minute. After that, a minute's up, I'm gonna show you how to make your garlic mashed potatoes. Also, I, I want to say um, a thanks to all my friends and stuff that uh, some of like words of, an, of encouragement like today, man. It, it meant a lot to me because uh, everybody knows that I know how to cook, but I didn't believe in myself that I knew how to cook. And, and, and being a person that has a speech impediment has had it all my life, overcome that, man, and I really just don't care anymore. I got to do what I like to do, and this is one of the things I like to I love to cook. And I love to feed people. And I and I'm gonna say myself, I look damn good doing it. So, with that being said, we're gonna look to get us a standard pot. I like to use a boiler, and the reason being, because after I get these in here, I can I can mash away. <laughs> I know y'all saying I probably be like good at that, but hey, I once was a teenager too. But anyways, we're gonna take these off and strain them. Add them into your empty pot. I like so. I like to use a potato a masher. I think it cost me like a dollar, I believe. A dollar and a half at the most. So we're gonna add this right here. <laughs> gonna add one stick of butter, which I already I melted it already, but it's just one stick of butter. One, a fourth cup of milk. A teaspoon of garlic, minced garlic, and not the garlic powder, but minced the garlic. But you could use the garlic like powder, but I just, I like the flavor of the minced garlic. It's more authentic and it's more flavorful. <clears throat> Uh, may add a half or a teaspoon more to it. And as you start like making this dish, you'll know everything that you're missing in your dish depending on how it tastes. 
So if you know it's a little bland, you add a little salt to it. If you know it's a little uh, not sweet enough, you add some honey or a little bit of brown sugar uh, to your meatloaf. So we're just going to sit here and mash away. Mash, 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 and uh oh, spill. Mash, mash, mash. And some of y'all ask me, why have I not I peeled off the skin of my potatoes? Because all your protein and everything else is in your skin of your potatoes. So I keep mine on there forever. Let me stir my corn again. Almost done. It's getting a little brown. So how I'm gonna do this right here is. Better cook a little bit more. And while I'm at it, let me clean up this mess of mine. Kind of y'all like, damn, he dirty. Not really. So yeah, this is my first episode ever, man. I'm, I was excited all day, man. I was just ecstatic. It was like a dream come true. And uh, I mean, man, I'm here. I'm not leaving. I'll be here every Thursday. Excuse me, every Tuesday. So keep away, mash your potatoes. Mash away until they're done. And of course, we're gonna have all night. So, but I got some already done. And I have some meatloaf that's already done. So, I'm gonna full speed ahead. This is done. I'm gonna turn this off. I like to let mine I get a little bit more darker, but I know how some people are, so I'm just gonna leave them done. But again, after you're at home and you're making this, this is up to you. You do whatever you want to do to it. But I just want to do this right here quick and easy. So everybody can at least I get the gist of it. So, just gonna sit here and take this off, like so. And I told you that I had some already done already because I cooked some earlier. So, what I'm gonna do is show y'all the end result, and I'm gonna leave y'all alone for the rest of the night. How about that? So, this is the end result. This is your meatloaf. This is your red garlic mashed potatoes. So good. And here's some of your corn. Now, I hope that look good to y'all. That's all me. Whew. Again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. Uh, a dream of mine that has come true. Thank y'all. And uh, again, all the ingredients and the directions will be there on YouTube, step by step, thoroughly, on Man in an Apron, on YouTube. That's my channel. That's my page. So, hope you guys can go and share this video. Like it. Like it. Like it. Leave comments. Leave positive comments, please. Because I know there's some people out there who don't want to see nobody do nothing in life. And they're just going to leave negativity everywhere. But I'm not. I'm positive about it. So, have a good night, y'all. Enjoy. And look how good this looks.